low this, this year, but when I've been low, I've been like low, so, but, um, a lot of amazing new people have come into my life this year, um, some who I love very dearly, and with doing so, comes new zodiac signs to add to my list, well, I mean, they exist, but you know what I mean by that, um, it is Christmas day for me right now, um, I'm alone in my flat by myself, and I have my Christmas nails on. I said in my last video that I got some red and green nail polish for this purpose, so we're gonna quickly light this candle. It smells of sage and citrus, and it's by the North Muse, who tend to do a lot of zodiac sign kind of candles, so. Uh, 
Sagittarius. I have interacted with many Sagittarius this year. A bit like Capricorn, but because of my past experience with Cap um, Sagittarius, it's like I couldn't put them too, too well. This is actually pretty low, but still, um, yeah, you guys just kind of gone your own way. I always kind of feel like, especially now, that I was maybe forcing a friendship slash connection with Sagittarius. It's like they seem to be quite fake, which I kind of noticed. Like, like they do, they they're quite, mm, you know. Like I get the whole oh I wake up on the wrong side of the bed kind of vibe, but sometimes like, ma'am, I'm just trying to help you, you know. So yeah, uh, Sagittarius, you served your purpose this year, um, but not served much. Might I add? In eighth place, we have Scorpio. Now, Scorpios are a water sign, very compatible with me. They are the lowest ranking water sign. Um, now, the thing with Scorpios is that I generally do love them. But one thing that I have noticed is that a lot of Scorpios have this very strong desire to be cool and to be like the different one and I hate, I hate that so much. I can admit that, yes, I like mainstream music. Okay, yes, I'm fucking wearing a Bratz hoodie. Bratz is a name. Like, they want to be so quirky. I can be like, oh, I love Bratz. They'll be like, um, actually, I like the show that was similar to Bratz, but wasn't Bratz back in the day. Like, it only showed little. You always have some intricate stories as to why you're different, and I kind of don't want to hear it. Do you know what I mean? Like, and you also kind of present this, um, oh, you know, I'm cool. I can do what I want. Like, I'm, I'm okay with who likes me, who not. Oh, that's my stomach. I'm so sorry. I'm hungry. Um, but I might not. You have this kind of like cool laid back. I'm can handle myself by myself. But then you also have this really strong desire to be liked, which is just genuinely confusing for me. So, yeah, work on yourselves. Um, maybe next year we can be buddies. I don't know for now though. In seventh is Libra. I used to be a big fan of Libras, but then I kind of just like stopped knowing Libras. And like when you fall out with a Libra, they're fucking brutal. Like, sorry, like some of them are like kind of crazy. One of my closest friends um, is a Libra. I do really like him, but sometimes I notice things about him, which I have spoken to him about. I feel like I wouldn't say that they're being fake, but they kind of present that they don't like me sometimes. Um, I'm not saying that I'm always right, which I am, but like there are definitely some scenarios where like it's very clear who's right and wrong, and they still want to play with Switzerland. Like me, I like people that can make decisions and stand on, on their beliefs, like standing on big business, like. They, 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 they're a boss bitch that sounds on big business and um those Libras just aren't really that they like to kind of be the martyr and like just you know be the one that everyone can go to which is good for them but at the same time it it creates a lot of unsta in, unstability instability and I hate 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 that in a friendship I love loyalty and I love stability in friendship like so yeah but Granted, you guys always do have an ear to listen to, like, you, you always are willing to listen and give advice, which is great, which I appreciate a lot, so yeah, you guys are good at that. So at 6th place, making our way into the top 6, the top half of the tier list, we have Gemini, um, which is our last air sign of the bunch. So Gemini ranking above. Libra and Aquarius is a day that I never thought I would see, but Gemini's, I've kind of been able to see the side that makes you desirable. You know, people 
make all these like two phase like kind of assumptions about Gemini's, which you are, but at the same time, it's like low key real. Um, I've seen it firsthand. Like I feel like the ability to just be like, yeah, I like you. I don't like you. I'm friends with you. I'm friends with like to be able to create like a very clear. Like you guys know what you want, and I appreciate that a lot. I will say, um, your comfortability with like um, just kind of being fake in a sense, it's a bit too weird for me. Um, I get having certain people's backs, and like also feeling like it's hard to explain, but like in a situation, I get if someone that you're close to has done something wrong and you want to defend them to your fa to their face but I feel like if you're a true friend you would tell them what they've done wrong to their face which is what Libras sometimes do sometimes um so yeah um Gemini you're cool I don't know if you're gonna go up or down next year but we'll see in fifth place it is my sign, Taurus. Um, one thing I've noticed about Taurus is, especially just like on like in media and stuff, no one ever like talks about us. Like I, use, I feel like we're like a shadow sign. Like we're kind of just there. There's nothing really, really good about us, but there's nothing really, really, really bad about us either. We have a lot of like desirable traits, like being loyal and very motherly, like caring, nurturing, which is kind of what I am. Um, but the, we also have a very like stubborn side to us, obviously, which I am, and a kind of cruel side sometimes. But I feel like my cruel side only comes out in what I need to. It's kind of like a weapon that I can just have, kind of have in the back burner. Um, in terms of other Tauruses. It's just sweet, like a lot of them I've been mainly women and Taurus women are just so sweet. Um and funny as hell, like like a lot of them are really funny. A lot of characters this year have surprised me to be very funny this year, so and they were Tauruses, so like I was like wow. Um Yeah, I really appreciate you guys. You guys know what you want, like we know what we want. We know who we want to be friends with, we know what we you know what we're gonna do tomorrow. So, like, so, yeah, I really appreciate that, and I also appreciate us just being lazy fuckers, because I I love someone who wants to be just as lazy as me. It's not every day going to central London, like, do you know what I mean? The fourth sign, and the last earth sign, is Virgo. Um, there has been one really scary Virgo in my life. Um, to the point where I actually want to move them down lower, but at the same time, Virgos, you're just cool. Like, uh, like majority, you just you guys are just cool. Like, there's no better word. Um, I feel like you're kind of what Aquarius want to be. I said it. Um, I'm here for Aquarius standard any day, guys. Um, yeah, Virgos. I feel like you're the best of Capricorn and Taurus put into one side and then just like shoved in a fuckload of chaoticness for no reason but then you guys also radiate this like calming um, persona which I really like like um, there's always like a sense of comfortability with Virgos which I just it's one that we all need you know just like that kind of person that's like there and yeah, so Virgos, you're great. Um, that one person needs to really fix up because they're on route to being a serial killer, so I don't really know what to do about that. But yeah, so the third sign is Cancer. Now, Cancers, um, a lot of people in my life I know are oh, Cancer, well, I say a lot, but the ones I do know, we always just fucking. I really can't help it, like, Kansas, you guys just stay going strong, I know we had a bit of a fall in 2022, but we made our way back, and I really, really like where we're going on the 
this journey. Um, my sister's a cancer, my big sister's a cancer. I will say one thing about you cancers is that you guys, I'm not going to be so typical, be like, we guys are emotional. But damn, you guys do just, like, do not take advice. You bitches will beg, when I say beg, beg for advice, cry for help. We give you what, we, what you need. No, I don't want to do it, girl. That shit piss me off. And it is with every cancer. I'm, this isn't just like a person trait. Like, this is, really, this is a cancer trait that I hate.
so yeah awesome hey Alex so good sorry um yeah I hope you all have a really good Christmas and I hope you're all excited for 2024 I'm not but I'm turning 20 that this year guys like 2024 I'm turning 20 years old please so yeah I hope you all are doing well and staying safe and I will see you